Hello guys, I'm Tony, Explore Crypto Channel, and in this video we will be speaking about static channel backups in LND Lightning Network, uh, which is uh, the way of uh, security restoring or let's say uh, force closing your outgoing channels to other nodes if your node become corrupted or if you will have some problems with your setup. So let's start this video. Static channel backup uh, is a novelty starting from LND version 0.6.0 and is basically a big upgrade towards uh, making your channels uh, secure and uh, basically it's a bit uh, it's a big upgrade uh, from like previous uh, way of doing that which was basically copying the the channels di database and uh, we would have to copy the the whole uh, whole whole channels database uh, which wasn't very attractive and uh, sometimes during the the copying phase something uh, might go wrong and yeah it was problematic right now with static channel backups uh, we are able to ge generate a blob of of uh, of data uh, that we can save to the file or like uh, push it to some external uh, external drive like to Dropbox or other types of external drives and basically we can um, we can secure our channels in this way so right now I'm in my uh, Raspberry Blitz and I'm in the console so I'm on Raspberry Pi on my node um, let's uh let's list my channels i only have one channel right now because i know i will be <laughs> i knew i will be doing this video so i only have one channel open uh and let's uh let's export channel backup so this is how it looks like so the command is ln cli export chan backup dash dash and you can either specify the channel by the channel point or basically export all of those so for me it's only one channel point so as we can see here there is only one channel point and uh, i used multi-channel backup because i used the option all and this is the blob of text that is important to us uh, if i would do it on my own machine i would probably copy it first to uh, to some kind of file in the LND directory. So uh, if I would uh, see what's what's in there, basically I'm uh, I'm looking into this directory and this JSON file is saved there. So this is the multi-channel backup. And for <laughs> uh, going back for uh, for uh, nodes that have more channel open if he, if we use the option dash dash all uh, we would have more channel points here uh, in this uh, in this array so we would have the bigger array but multi channel backup would be basically a blob but much bigger blob of uh, of data so it would be uh, extensively bigger and i'm doing that on my digital ocean i don't want to show you that because this is a bit more private but uh, on my other note i'm doing that uh, basically the the blob was for the whole screen i've got like 10 channels open uh, so yeah it's uh, it's much more extensive now uh, the good way is to verify channel backup so I will use the option Alan Klee verify channel backup dash dash multi multi backup because uh, as I said we've got a multi multi channel backup and I will copy the, the data itself uh, without parentheses so copy and paste and enter. So LNC verify channel backup. 
and the result is okay because every time the, the result is valid, basically Alan Klee is returning uh, those curly brackets empty. So that's, that's, that's a good output. After I created this, uh, this JSON file, the backup file, I wanted to corrupt my database on my node in some way, but I decided I will just spawn a completely new node without corrupt corrupting the database on my current node and basically I will initiate it with my uh, cipher seed the same that was on my previous uh, node the one that we were doing uh, the static channel backup uh, file generation the JSON file generation and uh, as we can see I did this command lng cli create which uh, created uh, my cipher seed I, I did it from my uh, 24 word mnemonic it's like line uh, 4 in this uh, on the screen uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to like record it but I only got uh, screenshots uh, so we see a few of my uh, seed wars of February banner main and loan and uh, I uh, made all the rest of the words invisible for you guys uh, to not hack me uh, but uh, yeah that was the first step to to basically fast uh, spawn the second node uh, import the cipher seed and the next step was to uh, do those comments uh, lncli restore channel backup dash dash multi backup and i pasted the uh, the data from uh, from the previous node the, this blob of data that was saved in the json file and basically it it went through and after i uh, did a command lncli pending channels uh, we could see that this channel that I had open uh, was starting to, to, to be a closed forced uh, channel and uh, if I would go to the balances then I would see okay the, the lncli wallet balance uh, I've got uh, some unconfirmed balance after that that was the balance of the closing channel and of course after a uh, few confirmations uh, i had uh, all the balance as confirmed so i was able to restore this uh, this channel on my second node which i spawned like from uh, from zero data i didn't have any uh, any channels uh, as DB uh, or anything like that uh, imported into this new node I only imported this JSON file with this blob of data and um, how does it work on the backend I won't be explaining it uh, <laughs> in in detail I will link the uh, the article below it's github article from Alex Bosworth and uh, basically it's about recovering using SCBS and uh, basically in the newest version on L of LND uh, there is something called DLP which is data loss protection protocol and uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, rather complicated on the backend so if you are interested uh, please uh, go to the article and read it and of course you al always want to be uh, secure with your funds with your data LND is experimental software still in beta so be aware you can lose all your funds uh, doing some experiments so be aware of that so at the end of this video, I would like to mention that uh, there are so, some automatized ways of uh, doing this, this backup. Uh, some uh, node producers like uh, Kaza, Nodal, uh, RaspyBeat, they have their own ways of uh, doing these static channel backups to, to some other devices. You can set it up in those, uh, in those uh, plug and play 
type of notes. Uh, but also there are some scripts uh, made uh, and uh, published in the internet. You can basically download them. All the links will be in the description below. So if you are interested, give it a go. And thanks for watching. Uh, recently there was uh, a poll on this channel what you guys would like to see next. So uh, I'm doing the videos about BTC Pay Server, I'm doing videos about privacy, uh, Wasabi Wallet, Samurai Wallet, I'm interested in those, uh, uh, those fields. So, so yeah, new videos are coming, but I will still continue doing some of the Lightning Network tutorial videos. Uh, I know you guys uh, like those videos, so I will be doing them further. And that's all for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button underneath. Subscribe if you are looking for content like that uh, in future. And have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.